Recently, I had an agent ask me and said, Kelly, why are you putting so much content online? He's like, people really aren't taking action with you, are they? And it, it kind of made me chuckle. I, I, was, I said, well, believe it or not, about 90% of my business comes organically through my social media posting. He was blown away. He's like, no way. You're networking. You're doing other things. I'm like, well, of course. But about 90% of the people that I work with come through my different social media channels. But I think it's important to understand how this all started. You see, the video conversation that I reference at financialcaffeine.com. I mentioned normally at the end of my videos, I have an audio book or I have a video you can watch. That video is something that took a lot of time for us to put together. We utilize multiple resources that we used to use when we were in meetings with clients and we picked out the things that we felt would really help people understand the value of life insurance strategies. And one of the guys in our office was having five appointments a day, 25 appointments a week, and he was working and some on Saturday. Anywhere from 25 to 30 appointments a week. This light is really difficult. And about five to eight of them would end up taking action. He was working his butt off and working your butt off is a great thing. And I work my butt off. However, what I decided to do was put that meeting, put that introductory presentation online, record me doing it with the whiteboard and put it online and create what's referred to as a funnel to where people can funnel in, they can watch it, they can continue on, they can provide their information, get on my calendar if they wanted. And I had people telling me then going, oh, yo, Connor, come on, man. This is an old boys industry. You got to be face to face and you got to be shaking people's hands and meeting them. I'm like, look, I don't care. I, if it takes me 10,000 people to watch that for me to get four appointments, those 10,000 people could be watching that information while I'm hanging out with my wife, while I'm on a date with one of my kids, while I'm just simply chilling on the couch after cooking dinner. And see, that's what has happened, which is wonderful. So my initial thought about what would happen based upon how people consume information today came true. So at financialcaffeine.com, you can download the audiobook. You can listen to the presentation that used to be our first appointment with brand new clients to where one of my counterparts in the office was having 30 appointments a week doing this meeting. You can also see the video presentation I call the napkin method because I can literally draw it on a napkin for someone at the golf course, which I have done. It's a very simple conversation about insurance and how it affects you. I would ask you to please go to financialcaffeine.com and I think my marketing team has it where you just got to provide your email. I'm not going to spam you. It's just me. Any information I send you is from me. I'm not collecting data for some other firm to do anything with. Just me and you can always unsubscribe from anything. But watch that napkin method presentation. Watch me draw it out. And then if you want to get together and you want to do something about it, go to financialcaffeine.com slash survey, you can answer a couple questions more than just your email and you can get on my calendar. So if you find my content valuable, please like it, please share it, and please leave me a comment. And then also remember God loves you more than we can even fathom. And all he wants you to do is to love him back. That's it. And choose him. Know that you're loved. Know that you're blessed. Have a great day.